Y'all go ahead. Well, I guess uh, today was halfway through fall camp. Just how's it been getting ready for the season? Oh, it's been amazing. Um, seeing a lot of guys step up. Um, seeing a lot of guys, you know, take the leadership, take the step forward, um, and just keep gaining. Jamon, you know we got to ask you about the Pops nickname, man, kind of where that came from. What do you tell people when you ask what it means? Uh, my mom really gave it to me. Really? Okay. But I guess i seen a couple videos going around, and um, people got their little own fan of what my nickname is, but my mom really gave it to me. And um, I appreciate the guys that gave me their side of the nickname, but mm -hmm. my mom gave it to me. So it's not because uh, people might think you look like you're 25, 27 years old? Or no, 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 no. <laughs> What's that story though? I mean, where's, where's yeah. Pop come from? Is it uh, uh, because you like Pops, lollipops, or do you remember? <laughs> no, my mom said it was a commercial that uh, every time it came on, I would laugh, something like that. Um, <laughs> but nah, not like Pops, nah. Corn Pops? Nah, Zero? I don't like them. Corn <laughs> Pops, oh, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but I don't like that. Nah. Is that like a commercial? What? Nah, I don't know. It was, I don't know. You gotta ask my mom. <laughs> How do you feel about the football side of things? I mean, obviously, those are big roles to fill, and you're one of several guys that, that there's no question about it. That, that, you know, you got a role to fill on this defense this year. How do you feel about the progress as that's coming, and, and, and you know, what are your goals here for kind of heading into the year? Uh, I feel great stepping in. Um, I think them guys that left last year did a great job helping me and leading me to fulfill them uh, roles. And, um, my goal this year is just to be the best that we can be this season, not just me, but the whole team, and keep the same Georgia standard as if they never left. What's the biggest thing you learned playing behind Nicobe last year? Um, IQ. And, you know, Nicobe is a smart guy, but I didn't just learn from Nicobe. I learned from Quay. I learned from all of them. Mm -hmm. And I took pieces of pieces from their, each of their game mm -hmm. and molded it in my game. You didn't have high school football your senior year being up there in Maryland with the pandemic and whatnot. How how do you think that impacted your development? And especially you coming in last year, it seemed like you really hit the ground running. Was there an eagerness just to you know have football again and be playing again? Um, I don't think. Can you repeat that question for me? Yeah, just not having high school football your senior year is a pretty important time in development. How has that impacted your sort of football trajectory? And then getting here, how excited were you to finally have football and the ability to play in games again? I was excited because. Uh, who wants to take a year off of football? Um, I think that set me back just a little bit because of uh, Corona and weight issues. You can't really work out in Maryland during that time. But once I got here, I was a little bit heavy, but I worked on trying to uh, keep my weight low. And um, once I got that going, shoot, yeah, it was like I never left before. So Corona definitely, it really set me back, but it got going once I got used to it again. We heard a lot from uh, people talking about you during the spring, just the way you, you went through spring practice. What was your mentality going through spring practice and, and the games you wanted to win? Um, my mentality was to play fast, physical, step up, and take on the leadership that they left me behind. Um, a lot of guys pushing me, great leadership that's still around the team. Just keep pushing me out, pushing them. and. It'd be the best we can be at the end of the day. You talk about leadership. How would you describe your style of leadership? Leadership, um, a vocal person, um, someone who's always doing the right thing, um, lifting teammates up, uh, things of that nature. Jamal, what do you make of uh, Coach Schumann kind of stepping in as, as co-defense coordinator, along with obviously coaching you guys at, at inside backers? Well, I think it's great, you know, uh, <laughs> having a coach step up as a coach defensive coordinator. Uh, you know, you're in the room with him. You in a room with him at all times. So anything you have a question about or little things you don't know, he can always give it back to you because y'all in the same room throughout the day. How do you think the rest of the guys in that linebacker room with you, Tresman, Smile, uh, Xavier, how, how have you guys kind of formed a step up this year? Say it again, please. The the other guys in the linebacker room with you, uh, what have you seen out of them? You guys obviously have some big shoes to fill this season. Uh, same thing. Uh, this is not what, what they do. It's what the team do. Everybody fly around, fast, physical. We all smart. We all got to keep building on each other. And um, that's pretty much what we've seen. Uh, we, we decided to see what's ahead of us. Yeah, now, now you're inside two weeks, you know, to the, to the opener. Uh, how could, if you guys started focusing on Oregon yet? Uh, and uh, what are your thoughts about that game? Obviously, it's going to happen whether you're thinking about them right now or not. It's not about Oregon. It's about us. We got to uh, keep building connection, you know. Keep doing what we do, lock in, and we ain't worried about Oregon right now. What's well, something that this defense can do, uh, you know, this year that they did better last year? Maybe 
you know, more stops on third down, create more turnovers, something like that. What's, what are some goals right now that uh, you guys are trying to set? Oh, definitely take the ball away. Um, we emphasize punch outs and takeaways a lot this year. Um, so that's one thing we'll be working on this season. What have been your impressions of Jalen Walker this far? Uh, Jalen Walker. No comment. No comment? <laughs> Why no comment? I um, don't. Name for me. <laughs> Can't oh, talk about that. In terms of development, have you felt rushed this offseason? You going into your second year, uh, expected to take the role you're about to take, uh, filling in for the likes of those three guys that just left for the draft. Have you felt rushed in your development this offseason? No, I don't feel rushed. Like I said before, I think them guys did a perfect job, a good job preparing me and, preparing me and the other guys to step up and take the leadership on the all team as inside backer. Um, I definitely don't think, once you get that one year under your belt, you should be good. As long as you locked in your first year, learn the concept, learn everything you need to learn, you should be good your second year. Well, whether it's leadership or production, it does seem like they're expecting a lot out of you, like person. They've, they've said since the spring, Pops is you know, going to play a key role. Are you? I don't, how, how do you feel about that? I don't really know what they be saying. I don't pay attention <laughs> to that. I just try if, to. If you know. they say that you're going to, I mean, everyone knows everyone who left, and there's a lot of starters to replace, but. It, inside middle of the defense like they're expecting I mean if you're expected to play a key role are you up for that right away oh yeah I mean if they're saying that <laughs> obviously they see something that I can bring to the game or bring to the table for the team and uh I appreciate them guys that they I can do it but you know, I believe myself I can do it and I'm ready for the challenge what do you think are your best attributes my best attributes I say uh run the hit and I got a pretty good IQ did you, grow up, did you grow up closer to Baltimore or Washington, and, and what brought you here? Uh, I grew up on the D.C. side of Merlin, that way. Um, what county? P.G. Prince George County. Uh, what, what was your question again? What, what brought you down here? Um, the relationship I had with Coach Hugh. Uh, as y'all know, I was doing the COVID time. And um, like I said before, an interview with Pat back then, I had a great relationship with him, and that drew me closer here. You talk about that taking the ball away. Your, your, your reputation is for getting the ball, getting takeaways. Uh, can you, you talk about that aspect of the game. I mean, what, what, do, what do you feel like you had that pick six last year? Uh, what's it feel like as a defensive player to be able to end up with the ball in your hands? Uh, I mean, it feels good. Uh, every team should have a goal to take the ball away. And um, having that pick six last year, I mean, it's behind me. I don't look behind me. I look forward. So I'm hoping I have one. <laughs> Coach Schumann talked about uh, your summer conditioning and how you took it really seriously getting ready for fall camp. Just what, what sort of things were you doing? What was your focus as far as the shape you wanted to be in once fall camp back mm, I wanted to be in the type of shape where I don't have to uh, get out or sub out. Um, how many stops I had to play, uh, I would hope so. I will be able to play those stops and not get out being tired. My main focus was not to be tired as I used to be. And I'm just saying my stand up. Stand up. How's it Merlin? So near college park. Yeah. Okay. When we talked to Chris Smith back in the spring, he talked about you're always telling other defenders about getting the ball out and, and being a ball hog. How important do you feel like having that attitude across that entire defense is? Uh, I think it's extremely important. Because why would you have one guy do it when you can have all 11 doing it? So that's why, um, just to piggyback on the leadership, that's what one of them I would like to uh, put to the table. You know, just being vocal and um, sharing every, sharing things that you can share to help the team better, not just yourself. And taking the ball away well, is a big deal. Got time for one more question? What's been your focus for this fall camp? What do you want to get better, things you want to improve before the season? Mm -hmm. Discipline and IQ. Uh, there are, there are um, two big parts of the game that I think I need help on. You know, I study improving them day out of the day. So those are two.